love collecting coins. It's been in my blood my entire life. But most of us carry the other, which is the treasury's version of, well, coin, which is called currency. And tonight, I have the last of the jumbo notes, the big notes from 1923. But look at the quality. These are beautiful, as it says in the upper right-hand corner, about uncirculated AU55s. All of them certified by PCGS, which means if you look at it closely, they look uncirculated. If they were uncirculated, add three or four hundred dollars to it. The certified 23s are the deal. So after the Civil War, the US, with the Morgan dollar out there, decides to start putting currency into play, right? And they were backed with a silver dollar because we had the silver dollar there. These big notes, which are about 50% larger than the ones we carry today, the one dollars were only made for a couple of decades. The last one is the one you're seeing here, the George Washington from 1923. 1928, we go to the small size notes we currently still use in our pockets today. So the big blue seal means silver, these are those firsts. If you look at it very closely, you can see slight traces of use. That's why it's an AU55 for being as crisp on the corners, tight in the color that you're gonna see on these notes. Currency is intended to last for about nine months and then be recycled and then reissued again. Keeps on going over and over again. The star notes are theoretically the replacement notes, right? If you look at the census guides on the currency, you just, your eyes pop out like those Marty Feldman eyes, right? And that's because the numbers are so crazy low. Because this is 100 years old. We're in 2023 right now. This is 100 years old. The competition has the same note. Well, it's a, a PCGS 50. So very, very close. And they're $100 more. We're a couple grades higher, which is all benefit, right? The higher the number, the better the note. But we're $100 less. Just the way we want to do business. We love the coin, but the rarer format of collectible coins is our currency counterpart. What we carried in our pockets, knowing we could go to the bank and for one silver dollar, as it says right underneath George Washington's portrait, we can get it. 10 dimes, two half dollars, four quarters of the big silver dollar. At this time it would have been the peace dollar, but the Morgans were still out there, right? Love the stuff. But paper again, think about it. I mean, how many coins from 1923, the peace dollar, which say the branchments, the D's and the S's, an uncirculated condition where there's thousands and thousands and thousands known, yet very rare, and they're under $200. Yeah, that doesn't happen. On the other hand, I think it's because the average, I mean, when they introduced both NGC and PCGS, when they introduced the certification arms, like in coins, for the paper money, the whole market changed. Because now, a good looking note could be a 20, and it is a good looking circulated note, but drastically rarer than a 12, but not as rare as a 50, right? Or an uncirculated note. But the better part of all this is they track every note they see. So we can also see, and over the last decade plus, the numbers are just outright staggering. There are less than 5,000 uncirculated 23s, like the note you're seeing in front of you right now. 
A hundred years later, less than 5,000 notes known. And that's why it's just a wow. That's also why there's a few extra hundreds on those uncirculated notes. So I always look for where's the value. If circulated notes are at that 120, 130 level, and those are the fine 12s, the VF20s, and they're beautiful circulated notes, and an uncirculated note's going to be that four or $500, just finding it and making sure the color is to your eye liking, right? Then a great value are these high grade, I'm almost uncirculated notes. And tonight our price is $100 less than that of our competitors. Guys, we got to put that 30 second clock up. I'm down to single digits. We didn't have many going in. You, actually, you're right. I was just corrected. One of my colleagues went online, found our TV competitor, found this note in a 50, and they were at 325. Yep, I understated their price by 25 bucks. We're at 199. And these notes are gorgeous. And talk about rarity. Scale of 1 to 10. These are way up there way up there and how few of them you're ever going to see yet affordable that's the fun of it all right that's the fun of it all